Hey, welcome back to my Tamiya M06 build series. This is the second episode, and in the first episode, we built the gears to install into the into the gearbox. We also installed the pinion onto the motor using that plastic guide that comes with the kit. Um, and then we installed the motor into the gearbox. Uh, before we could put the gearbox onto the rear of the chassis, we had to install the rear arms and then we were able to put the gearbox on top. Uh, while I was bored over the last couple days, I happened to take the motor right back out and I wrapped it with the carbon fiber wrap that I had and then just put a whiplash sticker over top of that and I'll put a little time lapse up of that going on. Also in the first episode I talked a little bit about the rims, uh, I got onto some Facebook groups and was asking around and I just so happened to find out that there was an exact replica of the set of wheels that I had on my car about five years ago. Um, as the comments went along somebody popped up and just so happened to have a set that he hadn't used and has no use for. So I bought them off them and I actually have them here today. They came within two days. Uh, they're really nice and they're, they're exactly what I had on my card. Hopefully the camera picks that up. Um, and I'm, I'm super excited to put them on this build. Big shout out to Eric for sending me those. Thanks Eric. All right guys, so we're gonna jump right back into the building process. I'm just gonna start putting together the rest of the chassis now. Um, the Tamiya manual for this one has three different settings uh, for the wheelbases like I talked about before. Uh, in between videos I checked the Miata wheelbase and it is 225 millimeter which is going to be the medium option that Tamiya allows. So I'm going to be using uh, that portion of the manual there. So I've got everything laid out on the table. Uh, it's going to have me attach the rear of the chassis to the to the front end now using these plates and adapters I guess. And these are the ones that had me set aside for that step in the manual. So let's get building.
Okay, so that portion of the build caps off bag A. And that gives us a pretty good start on the build, I'd say. Uh, the chassis is put together now uh, at the wheelbase that I need it to be at. The motor's in the car, and the rear arms are on. Now I'm just ready to get into bag B. So let's go ahead and pop this bag open, and I'll get the parts laid out and get ready to get on to the next step. Going on to step 10 now. Alright guys, so I have all the parts laid out for the next step. I'm going to be moving on to the first step for bag B, but the tenth step in the manual. And it's going to have me do a few different things here. I'm going to be mounting this bracket to the chassis, as well as putting these ball connectors on it to install these links. Uh, this bracket will later hold the rear shock tower. Also I'm going to be installing these uh, outdrives to the rear of the gearbox. I have my mic micrometer out now and I have it dialed into 8 millimeters and uh, I checked that by holding an 8 millimeter screw to it just to double check my length because sometimes the digital micrometer does skip on me and I have it set for the 8 millimeter length because I'm going to be building two 8 millimeter links and those are going to be what I attach to the ball connectors.
Okay, after I finished up the last step, I remembered to take out the outdrives and the differential and grease them up, and I reinserted them. Now I'm moving on to step 11, and it's going to have me do a couple of things here. I'm going to be installing the rear casters, the rear axles, and the dog bones between connecting. Uh, in this step, I'm going to be using the ball connectors and the rear caster to attach to the rear links when I install them. Uh, instead of the, bear, uh, the, sorry, the bushings that come with the kit, I'm going to be using my Fast Eddy bearings in place of them. Uh, and I'll be sure to grease up these dog bones this time. Moving on to step 12, it's just as easy as installing the shock tower and two screws. Okay, so moving on to step 13 and 14, I'm going to be assembling the front arms of the chassis, then I'm going to be using these longer screws to attach them to this bottom plate, which is going to mount underneath the front of the chassis, using this to sandwich it into the chassis, as well as these little ball connectors are going to go inside the top, the top mount 
four links later on. Finally, my last step in today's video, um, I'm going to be assembling the steering linkage and installing the steering rack onto the car. And that's going to be it for this week, and next week we should be able to finish up the build.
All right, guys, that's going to wrap things up for this week's episode. Uh, we got quite a bit done today, and hopefully we can finish this up next week. Please let me know in the comments what you liked about the video, what you didn't like, and don't forget to subscribe for more. We'll catch you next week.